Hello friends, welcome back to easy to learn tech and thank you for watching all my previous video. In this video, we are going to see 10 reasons for ice formation in our indoor unit. If you are watching my video first time, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the latest notification. In this video, we are going to see why our indoor units make ice. Some there are simple tricks and you yourself you can avoid the ice formation in our indoor unit. If there is a ice formation, there will be low cooling, water leakage, low air flow. Let's see all the 10 reasons. First reasons of ice formation in our indoor unit is the filter block or dirty. When you see in your indoor unit, if the air flow of our indoor unit is slow, it means there is a filter block or choke. You can clean the filter or as per the condition you can change the filter and you will see there will be fresh air coming from your indoor unit and there will be no ice formation. Next reason for the ice formation of our indoor unit. If you will see second reason it is the fan blower. If our fan blower is, blower is blocked, if it is totally dirty, if the airflow is slow during the running of our air conditioning that time our evaporator will make the ice and you will get the water leakage, low cooling, low airflow. To avoid this, you can clean the blower frequently and you can get the proper cooling and there will be no ice formation in your indoor unit. Let's see the next reason. Third reason is, out of 10 reasons, this is the third reason. Third reason is the evaporator coil blockage. When we don't do service in our air conditioning, that time our indoor slowly slowly it settles the unwanted particles and it gets blocked. Due to that the airflow is less and you can get the ice formation in your indoor unit and it will not give the coolness as before. So all the time do the servicing frequently and you will get the proper cooling and there will be no ice formation in your evaporator coil. Out of 10 reason this is the reason number 4. When you see in your indoor unit if there is ice formation then you have to check the sensor. Sometimes our coil sensor or room sensor doesn't command properly to our outdoor unit. At that time also there is ice formation in our indoor unit. To avoid this, if you get the error of sensor, that time you have to check the coil sensor and room sensor and you will get the solution of the ice formation in your indoor unit. Out of 10 reasons of ice formation in our indoor unit, this is the 5th reason. 5th reason is for the gas or freon leakage or less charge. When we install a IC, if there is a leakage, after some time there will be lack of refrigerant and there will be ice formation in our indoor unit. If the unit get older, that times there will be leakage in our unit, at that time also there will be the ice formation. To avoid this, keep the refrigerant pressure normal according to the refrigerant. If it is 410, it should be around 110 to 115. According to that, you have to check the pressure and there will be no ice formation in your indoor unit. Out of 10 reasons for ice formation, this is the 6th reason. In the 6th reason, you can see, this is the fan blower pins broken. The fan which rotate in our indoor unit, if the pins are broken, they doesn't supply the proper air. At that time, the evaporator get ice formation. To avoid this, you can check if your blower is broken. At that time, also there is ice formation in our indoor unit. Out of 10 reasons for the ice formation, this is the 7th reason. In the seventh reason, if you will see, is the low fan speed. If the capacitor of our indoor fan motor is weak, that time we get the low speed and there will be ice formation in our indoor unit. And even if our fan blower is not good, if the motor is not good, at that time also there will be the ice formation in our indoor unit because the circulation is refrigerant, is refrigerant is okay, but the outsource of the fan is low that's why it makes the ice in our indoor unit to avoid this you have to check the capacitor or the fan motor now seventh we have seen let's see eighth reason the eighth reason is the pinch or twist in our copper pipe sometime during the installation if the pipe is pinched that time there will be ice formation in our indoor unit or sometimes when the units are installed during the concrete work or civil work if someone keeps the legs on the piping if it get twist or pinch at the time also there is a reason of ice formation in our indoor unit to avoid this all the time check if the pipe is fully open or if it is pinched then you have to replace the pipe you will not get the ice in your indoor unit and the cooling will be okay there will be no water leakage and the fan speed will be okay and it will blow good air and a fresh air 
out of 10th this is the reason number 9th let's see the reason number 9th blockage of copper piping if one of our copper piping is half block at the time also we get the ice formation in our indoor unit if there is a ice formation you have to check all this 10 reason and you will get the solution for the ice formation in your indoor unit last reason for the ice formation but not the least 10th reason for the ice formation in our indoor unit when our blower fan is broken that time when we change the fan blower if the fan blower length is okay but the diameter is low at that time also the pressure of air will be less coming from the evaporator that time also there will be ice formation in our indoor unit when you replace any blower please keep in mind the diameter and the length should be same for the blower then there will be no ice formation in your indoor unit